dear friends art and culture and its preparation for upsc preliminary examination is a concern for many aspirants many aspirants think it is a lesser yielding area so why should i prepare art and culture many aspirants skip this part for many aspirants it is a vast syllabus so they think better is to invest time into other yielding areas like uh, economy geography polity environment history etc but if you check last four years or five years trend in the upsc preliminary examination there is a good number of questions we get from art and culture at least around five to six or six to seven questions sometimes it is up to eight or up to ten we get from art and culture including that ancient medieval part so in this video let me tell you what all things you have to focus in this art and culture broadly architecture art forms literature this is what you have to cover but many aspirants don't know what are things you have to cover under architecture what are things you have to cover under art forms and literature let's have a look into the previous years questions 2023 in the preliminary examination there was a question from art and culture in which one of the following regions was dhanya kadaga which flourished as a prominent Buddhist center under the Mahasanghika is located. So we know that most of art and culture questions are based on that year's or previous year's current affairs developments, some archaeological excavations or some anniversary celebrations or installation of certain statues or certain debates or controversies or certain initiatives by the state governments or central governments on celebrating that event personality or that culture or when an item is inscribed in UNESCO's intangible cultural heritage list when the dance music when the artist is in the news so these are various contests these questions being asked so here when you study this pattern i would say buddhism is a regular question upc asks if you check last 10 to 15 years they asked you questions on the teachings of buddhism philosophies of buddhism differences between buddhism jainism various kingdoms or places associated with the buddhism or the literature belonging to buddhism jainism or the architectures, Chaityas, Viharas, rocket architecture, monasteries, Jain temples, statues. So these are the various things you have to cover from this Buddhism Jainism part. The teachings, the ideological differences, various divisions, sect, their literary contributions, their philosophies, the places or kingdoms associated with the Buddhism Jainism, the spread of Buddhism Jainism or the famous institutions, monasteries, universities or the foreigners related to Buddhism, Jainism, all these elements you have to cover at any cost. There is a question with reference to ancient India, consider the following statements. Concept, concept of stuba is Buddhist origin. Stuba was generally repository of relics. Stuba was a votive and commemorative structure in Buddhist tradition. Again, you see a question which is repeated from Buddhism, Jainism. So I said this is one of the core areas you shouldn't miss in this art and culture part. Third question was, you see, another question was like a uh, ancient South India, Korke, Pumpuhar, uh, Mushri, well known as what? Capital cities, ports, centers of iron and steel making, shrines of Jain Tirthangaras. So coming to deep south, uh, Sangam age, Sangam Chola Chaira Pandya, Sangam literature, Sangam kingdoms. So the Sangam history that was asked in 2023-2022 and see 
the Kennedy excavations, many uh, recent archaeological archaeological excavations findings and news and debates on this uh, Sangam age, Sangam literature, Sangam timeline, Sangam findings, Sangam age, uh, India's cultural relations, diplomatic ties with the Roman Empire, Southeast Asia, all those who are in the news. Okay. So what I say is like when these things are in the news, definitely we can expect uh, questions, you know, that uh, uh, trend is there in this UPC. So this is another thing which I would say when you cover this art and architecture and literature, covering Sangam age is very important. Okay, South Indian Sangam age is very important. So coming to this art, architecture, literature, I would say this Indus art and architecture or this uh, Mauryan art and architecture post Mauryan art and architecture of North India and South India. Then this Gupta age art and architecture, post Gupta age art and architecture. Okay, so those things are very much important from ancient India. Similar way, the literature of the same, literature belonging to this Vedic age, literature of Buddhism, Jainism, literature of Mauryan age, literature of post Mauryan age, Gupta age, post Gupta age. There is a question, which one of the following explains the practice of this uh, Vata Kirudal as mentioned in Sangam poetry? Again, there is something which is asked from this uh, Sangam literature. So you see, it is not necessary that UPC should ask from wide diverse areas. You could see that in the single paper, you could see that the same areas are repeated. You know, Buddhist questions, two Buddhist questions were there, two Sangam questions are there. So this is also... Because of the reason that uh, when these cultural elements are in the news, there is high probability that they could ask from their static path. Again, the literature and the authors are asked. This is again, I'm telling you, a common trend in UPC that uh, the literature, the language, literature and their authors are asked. Okay, the various literary works, literary works, for example, uh, Malavik Agnimitram, Devi Chandra Guptam, or this Mritcha Kadiga. Okay, similar way coming to this uh, Kalhana's Rajatarangani. So similar way, I would say that uh, ancient literature, medieval literature, they are very, very important for you. The popular literary works of ancient medieval India and their authors and their authors and what the subject each deal with. What the subject each deal with. These things are important for you. Again, see, there is a question. Souls are not only the property of animals and plants, but rocks, running water. So there is a religion which believes in this immortal soul, which is Jainism. Again, see Jainism is in the news. Different Jain practices were in the news. Santara, Salagana were in the news. Jain Tirthangaras, Digambara, Shwedambara divisions were in the news. Okay, Jain festivals were in the news. So what I say is like, yeah, whenever these things are in the news, of course, there, there is high probability of being asked. And see, uh, you know, what I say, a single year, if from the single area, multiple questions are asked. Okay. So UPC is not following a definite uh, trend like uh, from a single area, single question should be asked. You know, such things are there. Again, the dynasties are asked, you know, dynasties like Hoshala, Gahadwala, Kagatya, Yadavas and what are established in the early 8th century AD. So there you must understand that when you cover this architecture of ancient medieval India, art forms of ancient medieval India, and the patrons of, or maybe the cultural patrons of ancient medieval India, it is also very much important to know the chronology. Okay, it is very much important to know the chronology of these popular rulers, dynasties, and their patronage to different styles of art, architecture, or different schools of literature. Just try to understand the chronology, the chronology of the various rulers, patrons, or maybe uh, the dynasties, you know, in the cultural history, you how to cover very well. Vichinagar is asked, uh, yes, a ruler who built a large dam across the Tungabhadra river. So you should know, when you cover this culture part, again, I would say, you should have this uh, geographical history, idea on geographical history. Sometimes they can ask a question like, what was that school of sculpture which developed on this, uh, on the bank of the Krishna river? What was that school of sculpture which developed on the bank of the Yamuna river? Or what was that school of architecture which developed between these Vindhyas and this Krishna regions? Okay, so this geography also, I mean, the popular port cities of this uh, like uh, cultural uh, India or maybe historical India or these capital cities 
a popular uh, rocket caves, rocket art and architecture of this ancient medieval India, are temple cities or temple towns, the popular inscriptional sites of this ancient medieval India, or the popular commercial centers, popular educational centers of ancient India. Yes, they are on the Western Ghats, Eastern Ghats, or on the bank of this river, or uh, you know, in the in the in the corridors of, or maybe in the straits of, or in the foothills of these mountain ranges. That way, they can ask questions. So, have an idea about the geography of this. You know, yes, popular art centers, architectural centers, schools of sculptures, etc. Okay, that idea you should have. 2022, you see, they asked about this different uh, Buddhist Jain literature. They asked about Jain literature. So again, I'm telling you, this Buddhist literature, Jain literature, Buddhist architecture, Jain architecture, different Jain temples, Jain monasteries, you know, Jain temples, Buddhist monasteries, or Buddhist stubas, Ashogan pillars, you know, their locations, their relevances, etc. Important for you. You should not miss it. Okay. Then see, there is a question, site of Ashoka's major rocketics and their location in the state of. So Ashoka's edicts are there. Edicts means three types. Uh, cave edicts are there, pillar edicts are there, and this what is called uh, rock edicts are there. So rock edicts, cave edicts, and pillar edicts. So the locations are important. Minor edicts are there, major rock edicts are there, seven pillar edicts are there, okay, cave edicts are there. The locations are important for you. I mean, state-wise locations are important for you. Sometimes they can ask a question like this also. For example, there is, you know, uh, this, uh, what is called, uh, yeah, Kalsi inscription, Dauli inscription, Aragudi inscription, different inscriptions, you know, these inscriptions are on the bank of this particular river or it is in this particular temple city or this is in the this particular ancient highways. That way they can ask questions, okay? Or they can simply ask, you know, belonging to which state. Then see, there is another question in 2020, which is from Sangam Literature, 2022 Sangam Literature. Another, a simple question. But again, you should understand that this much questions are asked in 2023, 2022 from Sangam Age. Because so many excavations and so many discovery, archaeological excavations, findings, discoveries, debates, discussions were held in this 2022, 2023. So, so many questions being asked from those areas. So, covering Sangam literature, please take care how the Sangam literature talk about the religion of South India, society, social divisions of South India, economy of South India or Sangam age or this uh, political structure of this uh, Sangam age, women of this Sangam age or their cultural contacts or cultural, uh, you know, relations with this other part of the world. So, uh, how this Sangam literature talk about this cultural, social, economic, religious uh, uh, history of this uh, Sangam age, you know, that part is very much important for you. Then see, Prime Minister recently inaugurated new circuit house near Somanath temple. Yes, what is regarding, correct regarding Somanath temple. Okay. So, this is again, again a pure current affair question. But the question is asked, a current affair event happened and the question is asked on this uh, uh, static part. Similar way, this year you can expect a question on this, you know, statue of oneness, Adi Shankaracharya, his philosophy could be asked. Mihir Boja, his statue is installed, so you can get a question for Mihir Boja. Uh, so similar way, different, that Ambubaji Mela is there, or maybe, uh, you know, what is called uh, this, um, yeah, uh, the celebration of these uh, unsung heroes, okay, or maybe some popular philosophers of ancient India, medieval India. So when these things are in the news, you should focus on the static part, okay, different sun temple sadha, yes, uh, Jodhalinga sadha, temple architecture, Ayodhya Ram temple is there, Nagara architecture, their substyles are important. Then see this uh, Chandela temple architecture, you know. Uh, Chandela temple architecture, Nagara style of temple architecture, Kajrao temple of architecture, which is important. Then there is a question, yeah, another question was uh, 2021, there was a question which is about uh, Chausad Yogini temple situated in this, you know, yeah, Chausad Yogini temple. So this, again, I'm telling you that, uh, yeah, this temple styles, temple architecture, temple styles, or maybe these uh, patterns of temple architecture, features of that particular temple architecture, okay, differences on different temple architecture, these things are important for you that you shouldn't miss because 
regular intervals you know at the regular intervals they are asking questions on temple architecture yeah historical places and well known for barsom rocket shrines uh, chandra kedugad terracotta art ganeshwar copper artifacts etc given so this is again i'm telling you when the historical places cultural places are in the news because you know the ministry cultural ministry's proposal of you know promoting it as unesco site or maybe like you know uh, bringing it up as a, a tourist spot or maybe uh, archaeological excavations are happening okay so some some such things are happening you know some state government initiatives central government initiatives because of which that site in the news so go for its historical part okay why these sites these sites were in the news because of which they are being asked you know at least this uh, chandra kedugad and this you know barsom were in the news and being asked so this is again very important you have an idea yes this popular this popular historical sites and uh, why they are significant you know there are different schools of art promoted or maybe practiced in these sites and they are very much important for you when you check the cultural history again there is a question which is about uh, ajanta caves lie in the gorge of wagora river sanji stupa in the gorge of chambal river i said a perfectly culture wedding geography question culture wedding geography so culture connected with the geography cultural site and the geography so this is also very important when you cover the popular temple sites the popular schools of sculptures or rocket architecture or art forms or this what is called the various stupa architecture pillar architecture or about this uh, indo islamic architecture okay delhi sultanate art and architecture of delhi sultanate mughal architecture vijayanagar yes just try to know try to understand the geographical identity or geographical position of these popular schools of art and architecture that is important for you okay similar way they asked a question about this language we have seen central several you know state ministries initiatives for promoting certain languages to be included in the eighth schedule of the constitution or certain governments state governments you know yes there are initiatives for promoting certain languages into classical language status or at least being included into this uh, eighth schedule of the constitution so when these languages vulnerable languages are there endangered languages are there okay when these languages their communities are in the news you how to cover them different languages okay different tribal languages okay or maybe their dialect or maybe their script and uh, the communities they speak such languages uh, endangered and these vulnerable languages you know those you how to cover very well whenever they are in the news then again there is a question which is about pyramids you know pyramids are asked that uh the question is related to scholars literatures of ancient india panani amarasimha kalidasa very simple the gupta language and literature gupta age language and literature which is important for you so why i say this because the trend is you know best understood from these previous questions you know language and literature i said language and literature you know of ancient medieval modern times which is important for you this way they can ask you questions there is a question which is another question cultural history of india shramana ubhasaga etc you know again you see that uh, uh, shramana traditions are the shramana you try shramanic traditions buddhism jainism shramanic traditions there is no savior god you have to try and achieve salvation so see there are certain cultural terms yeah terms related to this uh, uh, yeah terms related to this ancient times or maybe terms related to religious history of ancient india being asked so there is a terminology you know temple terminology buddhist jain terminology vedic terminology mauryan terminology gupta terminology vijayanagar terminology imperial chola and uh, before that the sangam Cho uh, sangam terminology then this uh, rajput terminology or this mughal terminology all those elements are very important for you terms related to the cultural history which is important for you don miss then there is a question which is famous places and present the state you know famous places and present the state dwara samudra giri nagar so certain all the names are new names yaar yeah. certain cultural sites there all the names and new names which is uh, you see or maybe the locations in which indian states that so this again i'm telling you 
there are some cultural sites they are known for uh, religious significance or uh, known for the uh, uh, architectural significance or artistic significance uh, known for their literary significances or they were centers of this uh, uh, education centers of higher learning or centers of architectures okay so centers of these uh, paintings so have an idea these popular centers cultural centers of ancient medieval india and belonging to which indian state that part is again very important then 2019 you see that a similar way cultural sites and the rivers are asked okay cave system or maybe uh, this uh, what is called a uh, yeah geological history of this indian subcontinent different festivals different festivals and their states are asked painting bani tani painting is asked so painting i would say there are india is having a rich tradition of cave paintings here yeah. prehistoric paintings are there uh, similar way this uh, cave paintings ajanta ellora bag badami you know badami is earliest brahmanical paintings ellora is known for depiction of buddhist jain brahmanical paintings ajanta is mostly buddhist paintings so these uh, cave paintings miniature painting pala miniature mughal miniature rajput miniature paintings uh, then similar way this what is called a folk paintings madhubani manjusha painting paitkar painting patachitra painting kalamkari painting kaligat painting warli painting so there are different folk paintings so have an idea they belong to which indian state what is the what are their characteristics or whether they are conferred with the gie status or not those things you cover okay then music traditions tyagaraja Tyagaraja Kritis, Tyagaraja, the personality was in the news that year. That's why Tyagaraja was asked. So the music tradition, Carnatic and Hindustani music traditions are there. So what are the features of Carnatic traditions and Hindustani traditions of the classical music? What are the substyles of Hindustani? What are the popular musicians or artists belonging to Hindustani traditions and these Carnatic traditions that you have to cover very well? 2017, a painting of Bodhisattva Padmapani. So you see, Ajanta paintings asked. So, K paintings again, I'm telling you, the painting is again very important part of our uh, prelims, uh, you know, from culture, art and culture. Then, see, festivals are asked again, festivals and communities are asked, festivals and states, festivals and communities, festivals and themes, okay, festivals and religion, those things are important for you. Manipuri Sangirtana, theatre traditions are the different theatre traditions are the or maybe the items in the UNESCO's intangible cultural heritage from India. You see that uh, recently Garba dance of Gujarat being added. Before that Durga Puja is added. Yes, you see that uh, different, uh, like, uh, uh, I mean, items in the intangible cultural heritage of humanity list, you know, UNESCO's. Yes, intangible cultural heritage. Those items you should know, theater traditions you should know. Then sun temples they asked here, yeah. sun temples they asked, uh, similar way. Uh, 2016, yeah, edicts of Ashoka. Who deciphered Ashogan edicts? So, so Ashogan edicts, again, I'm telling you. Yes, Ashogan edicts, you know, written in different scripts and different language. You know, here you can see in Pragrit. In the northwest, you can see in Karoshti. Okay, that is in Aramaic or maybe that is in Karoshti script. Here in the eastern India, in the Brahmi script. So, Ashogan inscriptions or maybe what they are dealing with. Uh, what are the script used, language used, what are the locations of these inscriptions or the features of inscriptions or Ashogan inscriptions versus Persian inscriptions, uh, I mean patient pillar edicts, you see differences can be asked. Then again they asked a question about the cultural religious history, Bodhisattva, again see Buddhism is asked here. Then certain terms related to the cultural history, Eripati, Taniyur, Gadigas, you see, these are some South Indian uh, like uh, uh, terms related to the cultural history. Then the love story between this uh, Agnimitra and Malaviga, you know, this uh, son of this uh, founder of this Shunga dynasty. So see, again, the literature is asked, the theme in the literature, uh, you know, I mean, a popular, popular literary work. What is the theme? What are the characters belonging to which age, written by whom? These kind of elements are important for you. Bencharas are asked from medieval history. Arahata is asked. So the terms are important. Terms are again, I'm telling you, terms are important. Again, see, there is memorizing chronicles, dynastic histories, epic tales. That is profession of which of the following? A question asked. 
commonalities to two historical places, Ajanda, Ajanda and Mahabalipuram. Then they asked about Lingayats and Siddhas. Lingayats were in the news, you know, regarding these uh, electoral representations, minority status, etc. It was in the news that was asked that year. Then see famous places and region. Bodhgaya, Kajrao, Shirdi, Nasik, Tirupati. Yes, famous cultural, religious places and the region was asked. Then 2015, you can see some kingdoms associated with the life of Buddha. Then they asked to set in like, uh, yeah, Lingaraja temple, rocket elephant, Chudauli, rocket monuments, Mahabalipuram, Varaha image, Udaygari, which is built earliest. So when you study these uh, various, you know, archaeo sorry, architectural uh, elements of this ancient medieval, their chronology you must know. For example, Didarganj Ekshini, that is a sculpture belonging to Mauryan age. Okay. So there are different cultural works, there are different, what is called uh, this uh, architectural works, temple architecture, stuba architecture, pillar architecture, rocket cave architecture. You see that uh, you must know the timeline, you know, which age or maybe which era it belongs to. The timeline, the chronology of the evolution of this uh, temple architecture, rocket architecture or these different schools of paintings, sculptures, that timeline is very important in the culture part. Again, the question is like this, yeah, like this uh, Vichanagar Empire is asked, uh, medieval state and present region is asked, Kalamkari painting is asked, again the cultural sites and their location is asked. 2014, again same question is repeated, kingdoms associated with the life of Buddha. Then see, different schools of Indian philosophy, uh, orthodox schools of philosophy is asked, Satya Meva Chaita is taken from which Upanishad? Vedic literature is important. Samhidas, Aranigas, sorry, Samhidas, Brahmanas, Aranigas, Upanishad is important. Then see different shrines and the locations asked. Then these uh, designations of medieval India. Then these uh, musics of this uh, medieval India. Then this uh, Fatehpur Sikri, Ibadat Khana to Fatehpur Sikri. Then Panchayadan style, temple style. Then what all these uh, classical languages like Gujarati, Kannada, Telugu given, what are the classical languages, you know, six uh, languages got that classical language status. Then you must know what are the classical languages, what are the languages listed in this uh, eighth schedule of the constitution. Then see traditional sides are asked, handicraft is asked, satriya dance is asked. Uh, then see the question is uh, about uh, Gregorian calendar is asked. Uh, Shaga era is asked, Kalari Pite is, martial arts is asked, then these dances and the states are asked. Then see 2013, again there is a question on mural paintings, then uh, about uh, philosophical schools again asked, Samkhya school is asked, then this uh, uh, you know cave architecture is asked, then these accounts of the foreigners in ancient India asked, rocket caves, Chaiti Vihara is asked. Nirvana in Buddhism is asked, Indus characteristics is asked, Jain doctrine is asked, then medieval India Bhakti saints are asked, uh, then you see that 2012, yes, a system, a guild system is asked of ancient times, then you see the question is on this particular Gupta's contributions, you know Gupta's scientific contribution, scientific developments is asked. Again, there is a commonality to Buddhism, Jainism question is asked. Uh, Bhumi Sparsha Mudra, you see that uh, various mudras in this Gandhara, Madhura, Amaravati schools of sculpture. Vedic Aryan's religion is asked. Then Nagara, Dravada, Vajra, what are the temple styles asked. Then Sufi, uh, sorry, Sufi mystics, the commonalities or maybe the beliefs of Sufi mystics is asked. Uh, Dhrubad Raga or Dhrubad tradition in Hindustani, that is asked. Kuchipudi Bharatanatyam, differences between Kuchipudi Bharatanatyam classical dances is asked. Then uh, 2011, Jain philosophy, Anegandavada is asked. Uh, you know the same thing, uh, universal law of Jain philosophy is asked. Then Indus civilization, uh, the features of Indus civilization is asked. Dharma Rida, you know Vedic civilization, Dharma Rida concept is asked. So what I say is like if you look into this, one thing is very clear that there are some core areas which you must cover. Maybe it is in the civilization, maybe it is Mauryan art and architecture, maybe it is post Mauryan art and architecture, maybe it is Gupta age art and architecture and the literature of ancient times. Then this medieval, 
that uh, uh, Pala Pradihara, Rashtra Gudas, Imperial Cholas, Rajputs, Dandis, Vijinagar Ambar, Bamani, Delhi Sultanate, Mughals, their art and architecture. These things are important. Actually, in our art and architecture course, we covered these things very quickly, very precisely, and touching all these aspects of this, you know, cultural PYQs. Okay. So, based on this, cover it here, this art architecture literature and this current affairs related to this art architecture literature and to personalities, events, you know, those things you cover well. So, I hope you can definitely add answer most of these questions they ask in the art and culture art and culture i would say it's not a uh, area to be skipped here it is an area to be covered at least one time very nicely very seriously and the core areas must be touched at least one time okay without wasting too much hours into this all the best thank you